not a bad, you know, performance from you guys. I thought that many people wouldn't care about Rama in her channel, but it's, it's kind of there and maybe there's like a new people coming in. So we'll be, you know, gently easing it. If it keeps doing well enough, we can definitely continue. The first episode was shocking, right? It's a dude that turns into a panda and back. And it's also a dude that turns into a girl and back. And the whole premise is, uh, you have been chosen to select one of the three daughters. Oh, actually, you're probably going to choose Akane because the ages matter. And Akane, it, it kind of matches. And Akane is a girl that is uh, very tsundere, very uh, dis... Like, she hates men because, most likely, people perceive her as a weakling in this world of martial arts because she's a woman and she wants to prove that she's better than a man. And I think that's where it's coming from. But Rama's different. He's also a girl and a guy. I wonder how the storytelling is going to go. And what is the overall objective? We're just chilling? We're just doing a slice of life rom-com shit? I don't really know yet. The plot's yet to been set in. Let's begin today's reaction. Recap time. Maybe this is actually the biggest propaganda for arranged marriages. Because this is like arranged marriage. None of them want to do this shit, but they're forced to do it. But then they'll realize that it might be a really good match after all. Who knows? Today's episode. I hate men is today's title. Okay. You go with Rama. Man, this is gonna be interesting with what the classmates are gonna say. Cause like, they're pretty young and it's like, what? You have a fiance? You're gonna get married? Like, I wonder what kind of rumors are gonna start to spread. That kind of sucks. <laughs> she doesn't want to walk with her. Yeah, we're not getting along at all. Whoa, what is this art style? Mm. <laughs> if a fool like you could ever have a pick of women. <laughs> is he actually saying, my son, you are such El Riz, El Aura, no bitches have an ass. Arranged marriage is the only way you could actually hope to extend our family lineage. Come on, take Akane. <laughs> Yeah. And he can't talk in panda form. Hmm. So even if the panda is dripping wet with cold water and making contact with it through martial arts, it's not enough to change Rama into a girl. It's gotta be actually like a bucket of water, some substance of fluid falling on it. There it is. Thanks, Baba. You got some hot water? What if, like, she spits on him? Hot saliva, like, she spits on How much quantity of my water matter? Does this shit matter? I don't think I need to nitpick like this, but, like, just... I don't know, just, like, she spat at him. Would it change anything? What if she pees on him? I think we can agree that it's definitely gonna be hotter than meat, like lukewarm, right? What if she pees on him? Would, would that work? Any type of fluid? Certain type of water? What about mineral water? Sparkling water? What, what kind of fluids? What's, what's the limitations of this? I don't know. I think it has to be actually clear water, right? <laughs> Hello. Ooh, is this senpai looking dude? Hmm? Doctor. Doctor Tofu? <laughs> what the hell? Who is this? I thought you hate men. But Dr. Tofu is cool. I mean, so far Dr. Tofu gives me a lot of uh, green flags. Calm guy. I mean, he showed up with the skeleton. Though. That's a bit of a red flag. I don't know. 
she I think she hates like teenage boys and shit, but like grown ass men who are respectful and calm and polite maybe better. Yo, that kettle's so hot. Wow, you care about me? She is gushing over Dr. Tofu. Cairo. His presence was unseen. Dr. Tofu can fight. Pre-ordered. Pre-ordered. Yeah, I see. I can see that. Yeah, what's different about him, huh? Not all men, I guess. What the hell? Is this a daily event? The entire school clubs of men, every sport possible, shows up to compete with Akane? Because that kind of beats their ass every time. They want to prove that they're stronger than a girl. They're just waiting. Biggest fans. Dude, it's 1v100. Holy. I mean, this goes beyond just hating men because, you know, men are trash. Like, these dudes are all trying to fight her. Okay, this is ridiculous. Every dude in this fucking school, every club is out here trying to beat her ass. Yeah, I could see it. But I don't think every man behaves like this, right? Like, I mean, this is so exaggerated. I mean, it's a fucking 80s show, right? But yeah, every man at this school definitely sucks. With other schools, with every person in, you know, this place do that? Dr. Tofu doesn't. You could say, in a really weird roundabout way, that these men all respect Akane. They want to be the one to defeat Akane, bro, because she's so strong. She's a symbol, a standard that they want to reach. So you could, again, a little bit of mental gymnastics and say they really respect her to the point they all gathered here waiting for her to show up so they can fucking all jump her. Just a regular Tuesday afternoon. Yeah, this is, you know, every day, bro. And they're all dead. Quite the, uh, warm-up. Who are you? Oh my god, who is this? Okay, this guy looks super fucking important. Who is this flower samurai dude? A date! Does he also want a date? She is. They want a date. That's my fiance. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. Once this whole school realizes, like, every dude out here trying to beat her to get a date, what happens when they realize that Akane is now engaged? Got a fiance. Ranma. What will they think? Ranma will be the new target then. Akane will be able to chill. Akane can just simply be like, yeah? You want me? Better fucking take out Rama first. And then Akane can, you know, just deflect all that shit. She doesn't really like Rama, and Rama can, you know, be tormented by this shit instead. And what happens when they figure out that Rama can turn into a girl? Will these dudes then, like, want to go on a date with Rama as a girl? Like, what's happening? Dude, the possibilities in this show... <laughs> Okay. Sure. Bro thinks he's Ryuga from Beyblade, bro. Look at that fucking synchronized thunder strike. Whoa. Whoa. Self-proclaimed title. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? South Tommy School of Anything goes. <laughs> they don't have a 
style? The, the family style is anything goes. Fuck it. Fuck his hands. <laughs> Fuck it. Just gun. Anything goes, bro. Everything is fine. Yeah. Blue Thunder versus Ranma. Yo, we got a whole audience. Oh man. Chest? I mean, if that was concrete and he fucking beat this shit with the Bokuto, wooden sword, okay. Blue Thunder. Amazing. He's not even trying. It's 2v1. Wait, what did you call us? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You perv. That was our bag. Ooh, lightning strike. One point breakthrough. Because the girl, the girl, the girl. Rain, 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 girl. All right, all right. <laughs> that showed up just in time to clutch. So like the secret, right? The secret of Rama's, you know, transformation. We got to keep that unlocked. So not yet. We're not going to get revealed just yet. I don't think, I don't think, you know, Senpai saw that though, right? I don't think Senpai saw anything. Okay, Panda just one shot Senpai too. Drive through Panda one shot. Oh, really? Okay, Blue Lightning is he's pretty good. I mean, he's the undefeated captain, right? And swap. Draw? No way. I don't think it was a draw. He wasn't even trying to close the gap so closely. He had one strike. That got ended by rain, where Captain also had the blade here. But I don't think that's a draw, bro. It would have been Rama if it kept going, in my opinion. But that, you know, Panda one shot, drive through. Mm. Wait. Wait. Did he? That's. Rama did that? That strike made buffoon on his forehead? Okay. Buffoon. Okay. What the hell is this relationship? They're like lovers that hate each other. What? I hate you. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Bro, you really- The teacher's gonna send us out for fucking uh, punishment for being late, but completely is fine with a bunch of dudes, every dude in the sports clubs, attacking Akane every day. They don't get anything, bro. Holy shit, this is unfair. Oh, he spread this. The most romantic thing you can do, guys, as a man. Beat a woman to force a date out of her. Yep. That's right. And that's the most romantic, the most, the best type of courting, bro. You gotta fucking just beat that on Oh no, shit, the rumor's out. What the fuck? I can't wait till he sees Rama in girl form. How is he going to behave when he sees Rama in girl form, bro? It'd be so funny if he drops Akane for Rama without even realizing. And then the bat. If he does see Rama as a girl, but doesn't know it's Rama, 
then we have to keep that fucking double identity going too. Like, this gets so complicated with the two identities. <laughs> Go stand in the hallway. You're gonna stand in the closet. Oh, okay. That, that's his closet. I see. That's his closet. I thought he was going to stand in there. Ooh, damn. You're oh, still a fucking onna, bro. Damn, Ranma? Damn. I thought that Rama would, you know, be less like this. I thought that because he's also part girl that he would view women differently compared to how, you know, women were depicted in the 80s, but nah, he's like, <laughs> onna, bro, can't take you seriously. That's so dangerous. And he doesn't know about the water mechanic. Random people just throwing buckets of water on us is also a liability now. The entire school knows now. <laughs> Rumors spread so fast. We got a whole ass nude... Bro, the news team is here. Holy shit, things happen so fast in this show. こちら風林館高校放送部です。翻訳とはどういうことでしょうか。誰だよ。ヘッドは手元かってですね。だから、俺たちは Dude, this mic just has no cable. This this mic has no cable attached. It's cut, bro. What the fuck is he talking into? <laughs> Got a commentator. Water? Water. Ah, uh, shit. I wonder if he has some sort of martial arts technique to like, you know, run across water, but I don't think so. And he's a girl now. You know what would have been sick? If Rama had martial arts so strong that right before he landed, he did like some sort of giant impact, some sort of clap, and all the water in the pool would have just gone up. That would be fucking sick. That'd be, that'd be some actual like martial arts god shit, but I, I don't think we can really do that in this show. Or if he could just like walk on water, light foot. Rama's gone. Senpai is passed out. Careful. Okay. Oh, Senpai? That's the Senpai sees nothing, right? Senpai sees nothing, right? And he might die. He, he might actually die. <laughs> wow, the glaze, bro. Oh my god, Senpai is alive, but he's not really moving yet. He's floating. Damn, he truly is the blue thunder. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Yo, them titties. Oh. Poor choice of words. Did you say grab a hold of yourself? Get a grip? Get a grip, he says. Oh, poor choice of word. Oh. Oh. They don't really quite know yet. I don't think the secret's out. Right? They did know that the body shrunk, but... Senpai... Senpai felt something. Is he gonna make the connection? Will he know that Rama is a girl? Or is he so stupid that he thinks that this is someone entirely different? Even though they both landed in the pool at the same time. He did pass out. You never know. You never know. Oh no. Yeah. Rama is a... Okay. We're gonna be dense. We're gonna be very dense. The secret's gonna be, everyone's gonna be so stupid. They're gonna always do mental gymnastics, but that is true also that 
Rama's first titty grab has been taken by Senpai. At least I think it was his first titty grab. Also, another thing is, how could you possibly assume that Rama is a girl, right? It, that's actually very reasonable. Because to us, of course, we fucking know the mechanics. But to these people, a person switching into a panda and back? A person turning into a girl and back? What the hell? There's no way you would ever realize that. So it makes a lot of sense that Blue Lightning is like, oh, must have been a girl. A good squeeze. Mm -mm. She's literally a water girl. Oh. Wow. Akane actually helping out. She didn't need to do this. But she's actually doing this for Rama, I think. Oh, oh, <laughs> no one said that. No one said that. <laughs> oh, nice catch. Nice! Right onto Rama. Hey. <laughs> Senpai is a fucking machine. Boom. Hello. He just locked in. Always, bro. Hey. You're the girl before. <laughs> nope. Mm -mm. Definitely not me. Definitely not me. How is he standing like this? This physics in this show is crazy, bro. How is he still, you know, like literally pinned to the tree like this? Sure. He's actually a magnet. The kettle is literally just bound to him. Ooh. He takes no damage. Oh no! <laughs> What's he gonna say? I don't know. The, the 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 his perspective, right? From his from his like a perspective, this is what he sees. So um um, I think he's falling for Rama. Don't no just say that. Nobody. He's always in the. Okay, I'll go with you. Nobody else, bro. Oh whoa, what was that? Look at Akane being shocked here. Okay, that, that was like the taking of the wooden sword that was so fast that Akane didn't realize. Even stronger. I think he has a new goal. It's so funny how, like, I don't think he necessarily looks down on women, but the whole notion of, you know, that's not what a man would do running away, blah, blah, blah. But then he really wants a strong girl, huh? He really, really wants a strong girl. And it's just like all these girls are just beating his ass, too. I think he might actually end up falling in love with Rama, too. Rama. She's just doing Pilates at home. Yo! Senpai also should be going out with, you know, sister. Senpai and sister should be the ship. Because I don't know, the, the interaction of, wow, I really hate you. Me too. Something about that was like, so synced up. It should be that, bro. Oh, please. That was an accident. 
く知ってるわよ。お下げでチャイナ服の女の子。本当か。ナビキインスティゲーティングアゲン。クノちゃん。このクノを立て分けに。勝ちっぱおれ。It's a love letter, bro. <laughs> it's basically a love letter. He's also ba he's he's kind of like a tsundere too, you know. He's hiding his feelings in these duels. All these duels are basically requests for dates, right? That's that's it. It's a love letter. <laughs> <laughs> also, like this breaking out dish in the middle of class. I don't know if it's the same comparisons to be making, but it's like busting at a fucking typewriter. Like this is such fancy way of writing. This is some ancient tradition, like uh, what's it called? Um,、uh, calligraphy, right? Like he's so serious about this in the middle of school. <laughs> it's so fancy. Yep. Separate entities. Ten a.m. on a Sunday? I don't know he's sleeping. They say no. He'll show up? Alright, he showed up. I don't need it. What do you mean you don't need it? You're gonna get whopped. Why did he not bring? Is it just a confession right away? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. My heart. <laughs> He was hiding a bouquet of flowers. Dude, this fucking guy. What's Trump not gonna say? Trying really hard. <laughs> I don't even know you. We just met. We show. Or like, what the fuck, Noel?、Uh, we we kind of had one clash, but like, goddamn, this guy falls so easily for anybody, bro. He's actually blushing. He's trying so hard right now. Skida.、Okay. Nothing. Rama had no answer. Yo 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 yo! You can't let him walk away like that. Hold up, hold up. If you say nothing back, he's gonna run off with the thought that it worked out and that this is actually like love happening. What are you doing, Rama? Did you let him know? All right, Rama's dead now too with the flower. That's another episode of Rama, and <laughs> this is crazy. The pacing is actually so fast. Like we did a lot today, right? We're going to school. Akane and Rama still kind of beefing, but there was a moment when Akane, I think, showed a little bit more tender side, right? She is tender after all, so she's got to show some tender side if that makes any sense. And she was genuinely trying to help us out, so that was actually cool. That was actually cool that Akane was being genuine, was trying to help her, you know, Rama out. The other side was Dr. Tofu. I feel like he's a bad person, you know? Like, is this a red herring? Is this a misdirection? We got like a neighborhood doctor, chiropractor, right? He's kind of sus, especially because of the gentle way that he presents himself. But he showed up with like a skeleton thing. I just feel like there's some sort of symbolism there, and usually these kind, well-mannered people that looks on the surface is actually evil beneath. You never know, so there's there's something off there. And the man of the episode is, you know, senpai, Kuno senpai, bro. This guy is a man of passion. He is really, really、uh, passionate about strong girls. Nobody asks, but he's like, "If I defeat you, we're going on a date." It's like, bro, what the fuck? What do you mean? Fine, I'll go on a date with you. This is not a favor you're doing to me right now. But the way that he says it is very funny, and he's kind of forgotten about Akane. <laughs> he realized that Rama is like, "God damn, that titty grab." Okay, I'm in. And since Rama said nothing here after, you know, Senpai gave us the flower and walks away. He's gonna have a misunderstanding that we're lovers now. What's gonna happen? Who knows? That's it for me. If you're still here though, if you enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.